My name is Tom Suchia. I was uh, born and grew up here in um, Cincinnati. One of the great things about Cincinnati is that, like for my, uh, one of the reasons that I've been here all this time is my mentors are here, uh, Karen Havenstraight, the noted uh, portrait painter, and then the sculptor, Richard Miller. Uh, Kenner Products was based here for a long time, so they had a number of sculptors, and I learned a lot from them growing up. For some reason, since I was a kid, I always loved 3D. You know, just something about figures and um, just, just something three dimensions I've always just been intrigued by. Because like, I live in a neighborhood where uh, one of our family friends the neighborhood, in the neighborhood um, wanted uh, portraits like of their kids sculpted, you know. So I remember doing that. Uh, it was like, it was great practice. Folks, you can go down to the Great American Ballpark uh, and see my sculptures out there, Red's uh, Legends, and then if you go to Cincinnati Zoo, I got a cheetah and the, and, the, and the mountain lion there. Yeah, I always feel kind of honored or very privileged to create something that's gonna last for a long time. We initially started with um, looking at some, some statues that we could have purchased um, that were just stock from other places. Um, and, and you know, those would have been cost effective, but they really didn't reflect the mount. We were looking at artists nationally and decided that we wanted to bring somebody local into the project and make this a hometown project. And that brought us to Tom Sushia. Tom is amazing. He has this ability to bring realism into his works and everything that he creates just has motion woven throughout the entire piece. Because this mountain lion created out of bronze in a theoretical last of thousands of years, it's something that can become a, a very important like part of uh, Mount St. Joe's history. My favorite part is really the, the design element. That, that's the, really the part that I really enjoy. The design of the lion is really telling the mount story in a different way. You have the female lion, which is representative of our heritage. It's the Sisters of Charity of Cincinnati founding the first school for women in Greater Cincinnati. It is also our natural history. And so you have the mountain lion, which actually lived here in this part of Delhi, climbing down a rock formation that is pulled from the Western Wildlife Corridor. For things like mascot figures or things like this, I want it to be, it'd be interactive if possible. I think of it in the same way when I walk down the hallway to the chapel and there is a bronze plaque outside our chapel with the names of the four sisters and the four students who helped design and build that chapel. And I really want to make sure students really get a very good education. So with Mount St. Joe, I want to make sure that I can deliver that at the same time. I feel that it's also a lot of fun as an artist that had been working in the field for many years. And it's a way for me to say, be like a source of inspiration for students. Say, hey, you know, Tom here has been doing professional sculptures for you know, a couple of decades now, longer than they've been around, alive. <laughs> it is a real life application of what our students are learning in classrooms. And not just what they're learning in classrooms, but the art guild that the, the university has just revived. And then, and it's like, oh, this is really, it's, it's neat to see. And then they can, you know, see what, how I work and how I've done things, you know, over the years. So just a good way to, for them to connect with, you know, me and what I've done.